Okay guys, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to buy Bitcoin with Skrill. So Skrill is basically, it's like the European version of PayPal, okay? Uh, it's very similar to PayPal and it's set up. You can basically use it to uh, send and receive payments uh, using your email address, okay? And the reason why I use Skrill now is uh, I do did some freelance work for a company based in the UK and they switched from paying out with PayPal to Skrill. So now I've got about 200 US dollars in my Skrill account. So I'm going to show you guys how to really easily buy crypto. So Skrill has had crypto uh, trading capabilities on their platform for just over two years. And they recently allow people to basically take fiat and transfer it to uh, your, your Bitcoin wallet and things like that. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you just how to buy uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on the Skrill platform okay so one thing to remember is is that this is not like coinbase it's not like binance this is not actually like a an actual crypto wallet where you can store your your bitcoin uh you know like personally or you can take it with you okay uh you can't send or withdraw your bitcoin to anywhere so it's very similar to Robinhood or weeble in terms of uh holding your crypto the only way you can get rid of your crypto is you have to resell it back into your specific local fiat currency so just keep that in mind for you guys that are wanting to maybe transfer your coins in the future but it's really easy to get set up so based on to which country you're in you're going to be eligible to trade certain cryptos so for me i'm only able to trade bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash and litecoin but i know that a lot some people in europe you guys are able to trade as many as 40 different cryptocurrencies like uh ave cardano uh, and many many more alternatives okay but for this instance we're going to be trading with Bitcoin so all you have to do is go over here to the left hand side and click trade and then we want to hit invest now and this is going to take us to the market page so basically it gives, gives you four options now obviously depending on which country you're, in, you're going to have more options here so then we're going to head over to trade so very simple very straightforward okay guys so basically you're going to have three different orders the instant order is basically if you want to let's say you want to just do ten dollars okay It'll just do a one-time order. Usually the fee is around, I think it's around 90, about 99 cents, something like that. A conditional order is if, let's say you want the price of, you want to buy Bitcoin at a much cheaper price, okay? So let's say you wanted to uh, buy Bitcoin when it reaches, in this example, maybe if it hits $30,000. And then you would say, okay, I'll buy Bitcoin, put $10 worth of Bitcoin or $100 or whatever. Um, you'll say do $100 worth of Bitcoin when it hits $30,000 and then it'll execute this order and then you'll just be paying the fee. So this is like a limit order for you guys that are familiar with the stock market. Um, you can use this as like a limit order on Skrill. And then finally, my favorite order of all is the recurring order. This is an order that will simply uh, be executed on a monthly, weekly or bi-weekly basis. So you can just basically, let's say you get paid uh, twice a week. You could just buy like a... Uh, $25 or whatever every two weeks and uh, you'll automatically be accumulating Bitcoin guys so for this example we're just gonna buy uh, $10 worth of Bitcoin um, and as you can see here uh, it says you're going to receive uh, 29.00029064 uh, Bitcoin and then it says next so then I hit next it's gonna tell me the fee so for this transaction it's a dollar fee that's pretty similar to coinbase fees and then all you would have to do is simply hit confirm for this transaction to go through. So let's confirm. Let's do this transaction and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see here, it says exchange transaction successful. So then I just go over to my crypto dashboard. And we're going to see what it says. Okay, so as you can see here, it's got my portfolio value. It says $9.99. And I have $10 worth of Bitcoin and it's tracking my portfolio guys and it took the money from my account minus the dollar fee so uh, that's it guys pretty straightforward tutorial on how to buy uh, Bitcoin with Skrill uh, Skrill is an awesome alternative to PayPal for a lot of you guys if you lost your PayPal account or you're having trouble signing up you can just use Skrill it basically does everything although it's not widely as accepted as PayPal uh, it is publicly traded on, on the Nasdaq under the ticker symbol uh, PSFE under PaySafe guys so it is a legit company and uh, like I said I don't really use it much but I have been thinking about using it more to store crypto although you really don't um, you know obviously you really can't 
uh, withdraw your crypto like you can with Coinbase and things like that. But if you guys are using it for freelance work or just to send payments and stuff like that, and you don't want to just leave your money sitting in US dollars, which is basically melting away over time, you want to hold the money into Bitcoin, you don't have to pay that much of fees and you can still get some appreciation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys, once again, if you want to check out uh, Skrill, please check out the referral link in the description below to sign up. And like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button and hit the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for more tuto crypto tutorials and things like that. So that's it until next time guys. Take care.